right, ladies and gentlemen, now what we're going to be talking about is multiplying a binomial times a binomial. Remember, a binomial is when we have two monomials added or you know added or subtracted to each other, right? So we have a monomial times a mon or I'm sorry, binomial times a binomial. Now, the couple things we need to remember when we're doing this. There's a couple rules that we've already explained. The first one is distributive property. Distributive property says whenever you have a number outside parentheses that multiplies times both of your terms inside the parentheses, correct? The next rule that you need to understand is remember when you multiply exponents with the, I'm sorry, multiply monomials, as long as they have the same base, you add the exponents. Those are, these are two crucial rules that you guys need to know. Okay? So what I'm going to do, if you notice, I kind of have two numbers that are outside one of these parentheses, right? If we say like, all right, here's our parentheses, I have two numbers outside of there. So what I'm going to do is I have to multiply, just like my distributive property rule, times both of those numbers. So I can say the first one, first number, 3 times m, and then that's a positive 3, so plus 3 times, I'll put this in parentheses, times a negative 5. Make sense? So just follow you, this rule. Why do you put parentheses? It just, instead of saying 3 times negative 5, I just rather write it like this. Same thing. Now, you need to do that for the other one. M times M. So now you need to do M times both of them. Okay? So then I just do, um, that's a positive M. So M times M, and then M times negative 5. Okay? So now let's go through it. A number times a variable is just a number times a variable. 3m. A number times a number is obviously a number. 3 times negative 5 is a negative 15. m times m, they both have an exponent of 1, equals m squared. m times negative 5 is positive negative 5. Or I'm sorry. Why would it be negative 5? Negative 5 m. Right? So then the last thing we need to look at is remember we combine like terms, you can only add and subtract when they have exactly the same base and exponent. So I look at and I notice that 3m and a negative 5m have exactly the same base, m, and they have the same exponent, which is 1. Right? So I can combine them. So I can write 3m plus negative 5m is going to be uh, negative 2m, right? And then I can bring down m squared and bring down a negative 15. Okay? Now the last thing I want to do is make sure I rewrite this in standard form. Remember standard form has your highest degree first and then going down in descending order. That's a positive m squared. Instead of writing plus minus, we can just write subtract 2m and then minus 15. And there you go. So by multiplying a binomial times a binomial, in this answer, produce us with a trinomial because it has three monomials subtract or added subtracted. Do you just put three three? Yes, I want you to put them in standard form. For this. Okay. Wait, wait. Yep. Standard form. Why is it different than the one on top? Standard form has your highest degree first and then yes. ascending in order. Yeah. Any other questions?